We are here with Dr. Daniel Metz talking about hand and wrist pain. Dr. Metz, what are some of the common reasons for hand or wrist pain? I think the most common thing is people having nerve issues. They're having numbness and tingling in their fingertips, and it could be one or finger, it could be multiple fingers. Another reason is arthritis. People could be having arthritis in the fingertips, and probably the most common is actually the base of the thumb. And lastly is tendonitis, and tendonitis would be inflammation of tendons. And that could be your wrists, it could be in your fingers, or it could be in your elbow. How do you know when it's time to call the doctor to get your wrist or your hand evaluated? When you can't sleep at nighttime, when you can't function, when you just can't do those activities of daily living without pain. And what should a patient expect when they come in for their first appointment? You usually come in in the first visit, you'll fill out a questionnaire. And on that questionnaire, the provider will be asking, what is it that brings you in? And they'll ask what things are affecting you, what kind of tests you've had done. A lot of times people have tried ibuprofen or leave, or they've maybe seen it had an injection by their family doctor. But ultimately then is once we see that questionnaire, we usually will examine the patient. We'll get some x-rays of whatever body part it is, if it's a finger, if it's a hand, or it's a wrist. And at that point, then examine the patient. Once we examine the patient, we'll be doing various tests, checking for strength, range of motion, and evaluating some nerves as well. What kinds of tests are ordered and what are the differences? I had already mentioned that x-rays are very common. X-rays show the bone. Sometimes we do a special test called an MRI. An MRI is a test to show more of the soft tissue. And then we're looking at tendonitis or ganglion cysts. Sometimes we do a special test to look at the bone called a CT scan. And that'll be give me thousands of pictures of the bone rather than just one or two. And the last test we do is the one that people don't like. It's called a nerve test, it's called an EMG. And it's a test that's pins and needles and it hurts a little bit, but it's one of those to check for nerve compression. Mm -hmm. I can imagine though, I mean, your hand and your wrist, that's something that you use for, for so many things throughout the day. It's important to take care of that. Absolutely, and it's amazing that people that are right-handed, it affects their left hand, and left hand affects your right hand, so it affects both hands pretty commonly. Mm -hmm. Now, if surgery is the right treatment option, what are the most common surgeries to help with pain? A lot of times we start with easy things. We start with injections, pills. Sometimes we do a special gel for anti-inflammatory medications, but then we start doing cortisone shots, and the cortisone shots may be in an area of a tendon, a nerve, or a uh, joint. And if that doesn't help, then surgery is usually our last option. And the surgery could be something as simple as a trigger finger release where you're back to work within two, three weeks. A carpal tunnel release, maybe three to four uh, weeks. And thumb arthritis surgery, maybe three to four months. For a complete list of Prevea orthopedic providers in Wisconsin and for more resources, visit prevea.com ortho.